guys welcome to another video in this one i'm going to show you how i created these beautiful sparkly nails using poly gel and i'm just going to jump right into it so the first thing i did was to prep my nails and apply some nail tips and now i'm going to prime my natural nail so i'm going to use the primer on the natural nail <laughs> this primer is from ended and for the base coat, I'm going to use Model 1's base coat and I'm going to apply one layer first and then cure it for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and then I'm going to apply a second layer. I wanted to do two layers to make sure that my natural nails are protected and that they keep their strength and so that when I want to do an infill, it'll be easier for me to file down the material and still have a base that protects my natural nails so i suggest everyone does a base layer it's always good so i apply two layers of this base coat and then i move on to my poly gel so for the nail bed i'm going to use a light apricot and the brush that i got from model ones as well i'm going to do the nail bed first so i'm just putting a little bead on the nail bed area and then i'm going to dip my brush into some sanitizer as you can see in the background I put some on a paper towel this is not slipping solution this is sanitizer I use alco gel because I feel like it works so much more smoothly and the product doesn't really stick to the brush as much as it does when you use slipping solutions so I'm really happy about that and yeah I'm just going to work this on my nail bed and when I'm happy with how even it is I will cure this for 60 seconds in my lamp as well um, also if you have discolored nail beds this is a really good step to do because this will even out your discoloration and add a little bit of peachiness to the color which I love I absolutely love this color I wish I had tons of this poly gel because it's just wonderful the color is so pretty I have no words for how pretty it is um, and I also apologize about the focus right now I didn't notice that my camera wasn't really focusing because I was so focused on just doing the nails that I totally forgot to check my camera and I'm so sorry I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm trying to make this layer pretty thin but still even and nice. I'm going to overlap this color with a lot of glitter so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to be uh, thin and even and without any sharp edges. When the nail bed color is cured, it's finally time to apply the glitter. I'm going to use Party Queen from Acryl Gel. This is also from Model Ones, by the way. I'm just going to apply a little bit on the tip of the nail and also like um, feather it out towards the cuticle. It's not going to be perfect. I just wanted to apply glitter a little bit here and there and just make it look a little bit random, but still pretty. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply this however I feel like it works. And then I'm going to cure each glitter poly gel layer for 60 seconds before moving on to the next color. And I'm also using the sanitizer to maneuver the product, just like I did with the previous one. So it's really simple. I'm just dipping the brush a little bit and then I'm working the product. I also want to mention that before you cure the nails, you want to make sure that the poly gel is dry from the slipping solution or the sanitizer. So you don't want to leave any liquid on top of the poly gel because if you do that and then cure it it's going to leave white marks on the nail just a little tip
before I'm finished with the nails, I'm just going to apply a little bit of clear poly gel just on top of everything. This is to fill in any crevices or holes, whatever there is that I have missed. I just want to make sure that I don't have any surface that is too thin. So I'm going to cover a little bit of the nails with this product. And I realized that the nails turned out way too thick at the end, but it's fine. Personally, I like my nails to be thick before filing them because that way I know that I will file them into a really good shape and I will not have any issues. But if you don't like filing a lot, I would suggest you apply really thin layers and not like me. As you can see, <laughs> I'm just adding a lot of product. Um, but yeah, this is just me. You don't have to do it like this. And I know that a lot of you guys <laughs> find it really annoying when I use as much product as I do. But you know, it's my style and we all do nails differently and it's totally fine. So if you don't like to do it this way, you absolutely do not have to. Just do whatever makes you feel comfortable and yeah, <laughs> what's important is the end result in my opinion. All right, I've cured the nails for 60 seconds under my lamp and I'm going to cleanse them. A lot of you guys ask me what I mean by, by saying cleanse and I mean putting some sanitizer or alcohol to a paper towel and then wiping the nails to get rid of that sticky layer. So that is what I mean by saying cleanse. <laughs> so after that, I did actually file all my nails off camera and I'm just dusting away the dust I'm brushing away the dust <laughs> and now I'm going to cleanse the nails again except this time I'm doing this to make sure my nails are clean from oils and dust and whatever is stuck on the surface of the nails because we want the nails to be super clean before applying any top coat and for the top coat I'm going to use the model ones top coat you get this with any kit that you buy from model ones I think and it's just amazing. I'm going to put one coat of this on all of the nails and then cure this for 60 seconds in my lamp as well. And I just love the final reveal. I love putting on a good top coat and just seeing what's inside the nail. Just how beautiful is that? I love it. <laughs> also, this top coat is really shiny and really long lasting. I definitely recommend this product even if you're not doing poly gel nails if you just do acrylics or gel I still really recommend this top coat because it's so good even the top coat leaves a sticky layer so I will have to cleanse the nails again after curing them in the lamp and then last but not least I'm going to file the edges and do a little bit of a C curve I'm gonna use my e-file and file underneath the nail just to create a little bit of a C curve because my nails got a bit too thick at the end in my opinion so I'm just going to do this and this will make the nails just look so much better. I've actually heard that you can buy tips with a really nice C curve already there so I'll see if I can find these tips and show you guys if it works because I think I would actually really love that. Also, be really careful if you're doing it this way because you don't want to file too much and ruin the design from underneath. So I'm just going to file really carefully and not have the e-file on the high speed. Last but not least, I'm going to use the cuticle oil from En Vogue and just massage it into my cuticles and my fingers. And I'm actually using a lot of this because I'm so dry. <laughs> and this is the final result. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, as usual, just comment down below and I will see if I can answer them. And 
yeah also don't forget to use my discount code on model one's website it's jessica 10 and it will give you a 10 percent discount which is great <laughs> Let me know if you have already tried these products or if you use Polygel. I love hearing it from you guys in the comments or on Facebook or Instagram. And yeah, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.